So a question came up in the Articulate Storyline forums today regarding the text that you type onto buttons. And as you can see from this example, if we zoom way in on this red button here, um, see how there's a shadow on the text? It might be kind of hard to see, but if we change this color of the button itself to white um, to match the color of the text, you can still see the text because there's a shadow that's applied to the text by default. Well, um, one particular user in the Storyline forums really didn't want that shadow to appear on the text and was wondering how to remove it. It's actually really easy. If you select the button like I've got here, and then you go to the Home tab on your Storyline menu, you're going to find a whole bunch of text editing tools here. And one of them is this little button with the S that's for text shadow. And if this is highlighted, then the shadow is applied to that item like we see here. And you just need to click it to deselect it if you want to remove the shadow. And now the shadow is gone. If we zoom way in again, you can see that the shadow is no longer there. Now if you've got several buttons on your slide and you want to remove the shadow from all of them, what you can do is multi-select. You can just draw a bounding box around them like this to select them, or you can use um, another trick is um, to select one of them and then hold on your shift key and continue to select additional objects and that's going to multi-select them as well. So now with both of those buttons selected I can come up here and turn off the shadow for both of them and then they're both going to, you know, be, the shadow is going to be removed. So that's one way to do it. Another way, if your buttons are all the same color and they have all the same other attributes, which mine do not here, but um, let's just say that they did, what you can do is select a button, format it the way you want, like let's just turn the shadow back on. Let's suppose that we want to apply the shadow to these um, other two now. What we can do is um, with that button selected that we just formatted, we can come up to the Home tab and double click on this Format Painter. And you'll notice that my cursor changes to that little paintbrush and what happens is anything I click now is going to inherit the same characteristics as this first object that I had selected. So now if I click the blue button it's going to turn red and it's also going to now have the text shadow and if I click the purple one it's going to inherit the same attributes. So that kind of works if you want all of your you know objects to look and behave the same. I should also mention that when you do that down here in the states panel it's also going to copy over the um, states that are associated with that first object that you selected. So you should use that option with care. Um, you know, if you don't want to copy all those items, um, you'll probably want to go with the other method, which would be just to, you know, shift click or multi select the items and uh, turn the shadow on or off from there. So that's how you can um, get rid of the shadow on an Articulate Storyline button.